I think I think that's probably the most pitches I've thrown in the first <laughs> inning ever, maybe. Um, but yeah, that was kind of a little bit of a gut check to kind of reset after that first inning and go out there and try to put up some quick zeros, not just zeros, but some quick ones. How do you do that? Does it change the scouting report? Does it change your, uh, you know, how you pitch? No, not for me, which is nice because I feel like my, what I try to tell myself is like, I'm just trying to get off the field as quick as possible. I'm not worried about striking everybody out. I'm not worried about tricking guys. I'm just, I'm trying to attack the zone and get guys to swing at my pitch and get themselves out as quick as possible. That's how I, that's how I stay in games. And that's, that's how you rack up some more innings. So, um, no, my game plan didn't change. I just, I was able, after we tied it back up, it was nice to, uh, just say, okay, like, let's start over. It's a, it's a new game. It's a tie ball game. We're going to go from here. This is the first inning. Let's ride. Eric, you were at a pitch count uh, after six innings that most pitchers have been pulled this year, 100. You know, it's kind of where the – but uh, we all know the bullpen's a little thin right this minute. Um, mm-hmm. you know, what was the discussion about you pitching another inning? Uh, they just asked me if I was good, and I said, yeah, I'm good. I felt strong. I felt like uh, my stuff was coming out well. I didn't feel like I was laboring or anything. So I'm in there I'm in there to throw as many as I can. I'm in there to take as much relief off the bullpen as I can. So um, especially after a first inning like that and when we have a, we have a little bit of a lead, um, attacking the zone is kind of my, my game, and I think, I think that's something – that helps you get innings quickly. Eric, was there, I thought maybe I saw an index finger out as counsel came to the mound. Was that one more, <laughs> is that a plea for one more guy? Yeah, that was just like, let me get one more. Come on. Like that. I didn't, I didn't feel like I had that, that hit. I don't think should have taken me out of the game, but I mean, I understand pitch count wise. Yeah. That should have took me out of the game, but um, I felt good. I really wanted to go for that career high strikeouts. I really wanted to get through the seventh. So it was a lot of it was a lot of factors, but I really just I was trying to give him such a subtle little hint that everybody apparently saw. <laughs> to let me just get one more, just one. It's a pinch hitter. Come on, let me get one more. He's he's cold off the bench. Come on. <laughs> Did you like? Right, what are you most proud of with the month that you put together in your five starts here in September, and just how you're finishing off the regular season? Um, I'm really happy with just finishing strong more than anything and finding that groove and that rhythm that I've been searching for since I came over here. Um, I feel like I've really found my place and I found like the kind of pitcher that I'm going to be. So now it's a matter of just stacking them on top of each other. Really. Hey Eric, what, what's the exhale factor to see the magic number finally get lowered? It's been stuck on three for five days. You know, apparently the Cardinals have decided they're never going to lose again. Um, how did it feel to just finally lower the number one click? It was nice. It was nice as a team kind of pick me up kind of thing because, I mean, we got we got a little stagnant there with the Cardinals. I mean, they're playing really good baseball. You can't you can't take that away from them. But um, to be able to turn that page and kind of let that series go, I think it's gonna it's gonna bode well for us moving forward. And I think we're we're kind of jumping right back on the horse here.